everyone, this is Robert again coming at you with another video. Well, today's video is going to be my three in one camp cot ground cloth hammock. Now, I got this material that someone was throwing out, so I decided to make this a camp cot, and then I decided to make it a three-in-one camp cot ground cloth and hammock so I was always thinking like well if you want to get a raised bed you have to find a lot of sticks to go across well what you really need is the two big logs and these two straight pieces to go alongside of you and you're already carrying your camp cot. And once you put it together, you'll have a raised bed. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna unfold this and I'll give you some measurements on it. Now, like about third, about thirty seven inches across and these sleeves. Uh, pretty much about seven inches so there's seven inches of the hole that you can put a log through or a big branch now the length of this The length of this is 77 and a half inches long. So it's about, by about six feet. So. Roll up my tape measure and start putting this together. Okay. So, I'm going to start putting this together. Put my two big poles through the, the holes. Now I cut a lot of these little nubs, little branch, branches coming out of it, like kind of smoothing them out so they won't poke through the fabric as you're putting the branches in, or logs in.
and there's this part of it. Now, in order to keep this all tight and everything when you're laying on it, instead of, if you don't feel like cutting notches in these big logs right here or if you don't have another you could get another big branch to put in between those two to get them spread out apart so this won't like move in or whatever okay so you have this set up now you have to find out find a way to keep the two long poles spread apart so this can be kind of tight so when you lay in it so you pick up you get two sticks with two Y's in them and you put one of the Y's in one branch in, on into one stick and you just put this part right on the other stick so I'll do this and see how it goes. I have my two Y sticks on the ends. So I'm gonna get on my camp cot and see how it is. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I'm up off the ground. Oh, somewhat. I think I just have to get straighter poles or grant like yeah, straighter limbs or poles or whatever. But yeah. Seems pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty much up off the ground. I'll just have to find, I put the, the big logs up on these smaller logs, but if I find other bigger logs, like there are, there is another falling down tree over there. I could put these bigger logs on top of a falling down, falling down tree or another falling down log, then put these poles up on the big logs, I'll be higher up. So even if I do have a curvature, 
of the camp cot will still be pretty much off the ground. So, but this is, for testing, this is good enough. Now, I'm gonna use it as the ground cloth. And I've also added my bug netting to it. It zippers right to this fabric. Then I sewed it on the back end. So this is gonna be my way to get in inside the bug netting. And I also did the bug netting on the two ends. So I'm gonna tie this up on the tree, on the trees, because I put these black loops on the outside of it so I can put the string, the string or rope or the paracord or whatever on the outside of it and hopefully it'll be all taunt and everything so it won't be like sagging. So I have my string over there and I'll tie them on the trees and see how it comes out. And there it is. I have four corners that I have. Well, I had those loops for the string. And I also have loops on the bottom of this fabric, right on the inside of the sleeves. So I can peg them down with metal pegs or even sticks and branches if I need to. So, I'm gonna unzip this, I'm gonna crawl inside, see how it is. It could be a little bit higher, but... For laying down, this works pretty good. I mean... You know, I will be trying to find ground that's a little bit softer, maybe some patch of grass in the middle of the woods or something but this will keep me this will keep all the bugs and mosquitoes off of me and all the ants and everything that's crawling around on the floor keep everything off me so 
works pretty good. Now I'm going to try to find some trees to try this as a hammock. I had these two good sized trees on either side of me, so I'm gonna try to hook it up to that. Now, instead of paracord or rope, I have this. I have two of these um, loading straps. They're pretty sturdy. I already tested them out by putting a loop on them, tying them to something, and standing on it, and it held my weight, so it should hold my weight inside the hammock. So, now I'm going to put, I already have one of these in one of the sleeves, so I'm going to put the, this other one in. I'm just going to bunch it up. Put it in the sleeve. And then... Take it down. And it came out the other end. Now I'm gonna set this hammock up and then I'm gonna show you, walk, walk you around, show you what it looks like. And Here's the hammock setup. Now, before I put the, I'm not gonna put the bug netting up or anything, but this is the first time I've ever set up a hammock or even been in a hammock, really. Well, it's been a long time, but I never set one up yet. So, I'm gonna try this out. And if it falls with me in it, it's gonna be on camera. Oh, this is comfortable. This is very comfortable. And now I know why a lot of people like hammock camping. Very comfortable. You up off the ground, you have a nice little swing, watch you to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, these um, load straps hold pretty good weight. And I guess I sewed it up good enough because the sewing is still intact, so it's holding my weight. Takes a little bit to get out of it. Now, I decided to try to put these sticks across to make it stretch a little bit more. Have it tied to the tree. I this way, this side the same way. Now for these, I can always tie these up to the tree, the branch and also. So this will be a little bit more stable. And this stuff tied to the tree. Now this is a zipper part for to get in. Then I pretty much 
double stitched all that. Well, I pretty much triple stitched it. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. This is where the zipper part is. Well, I'm gonna play around a little bit more with the hammocks setup. Because with these strap loops that I made for the to put the pegs in when it's a ground floor. You know, we tie these up to up to these sticks over here. Maybe it'll be a little bit more sturdy, so it won't like sink in too much. And I'll figure out more about the mosquito netting. Try to get up, get it up on the in the tree, so it'll be so I can get inside it while it's a hammock. But, for right now, I have the ground cloth, and I can make it into a camp cot. And I can put the mosquito netting up and crawl inside. So, I have two options, but the third option, I can use this as a, just a regular hammock. And I have this big, large green bug netting. I can, I could drape right over it, like put a, a line right across on the top and just drape that over it. I'll show that in another video when I do some more hammock setups. And this is all for this video for my 3-in-1 ground cloth camp cot hammock. And... I'll catch you on my next video. This is Robert. Thank you for watching.